What's going on TSG? Great Disciple back with another video. Real quick, big thanks to Thunder for all that you do, man. I don't think you get enough credit for everything that you've done for the community. You're one of the only channels that actually reaches out and helps people anymore. And it does take time out of your day to do it, even if you have a couple guys helping you out. So big thumbs up to you for that, man. And everybody understand on TSG, the likes for the videos that we get, those benefit the channel TSG, which helps new content creators get their material out. So every single like helps. So if you get 5,000 views, why don't we get 5,000 likes? To this day, and I've been on YouTube now for over a year, I would say every three or four days, I get messages asking me about how to be successful on YouTube. What do I need to do? Hey, Gray, I'm thinking about doing a channel. I like your stuff. Can you give me some advice? All these things. So let's talk about it a little bit. So you want to be big on YouTube. What do you got to do? Rule number one, you got to be cruel. Cruel like you've never been in your life. You have to be willing to emaciate people, to tear them down to the very core of their humanity. And the more hateful, the better. That's number two. Be hateful to everything and everyone. God forbid you actually like to play video games anymore. Even though you're a gaming channel, don't ever say anything positive about a game. Play the game that you like while speaking hate about other games. That's usually the best route to go these days. All right. Number three, curse as much as you possibly can for no reason. Punctuate all of your sentences with it, and the more angry you sound while you're cursing, the more views you'll get and probably the more sub you'll gain as well. Talk about sex, that's number four. Anytime you talk about sex, the little kids are gonna flock to your channel more, all right? And number five, make sure you use innuendo when you talk. Now, some of you don't know what innuendo means. You'll hear terms like, that's what she said, that's an innuendo. So use as many innuendos as you can because that's pretty much mainstream now and the millennials love, love that kind of talk. Number six, find the most disgusting, cheapest looking women that you can and make huge thumbnails out of them using trigger words or just use the word trigger. <laughs> Number seven, lie. You know, these days, it's not good enough to tell the truth. You need to lie. You need to get people to watch your video for a reason that you're not even going to talk about. So lying is usually the key to this, all right? And then the last one is tell stories about your sexual conquest, even if they're not true. Just go on Reddit, look for stories of sexual conquests or escapades, and then pawn them off as your own. Even though everybody knows at your age you probably never experienced anything like that, just speak with realism and don't forget to punctuate all the sentences with cursing and be angry about it. I mean, it's the truth, you guys. I have watched more channels quit YouTube in the past year than I have ever seen in my life. And I've been watching YouTube for seven years. I mean, what, what has happened here? I, I've kind of visualized in my mind what has taken place. A lot of guys like me who just love playing video games and have watched YouTube for many years decide, you know what, I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to make a Call of Duty channel. I'm going to upload my gameplays because I think they're good enough and I'm going to give my opinions on the game. And as they do it, they start off all excited, but then they realize that there's not a whole lot of growth from doing this. And they look around at all these other channels of people doing some of the most depraved things that you can imagine and saying some of the most horrific things about people and the words that they're using you're like am i willing to sell myself and go and do this am i willing to say things and do things that i would never do in real life to another human being but i'll do them on youtube because i want to grow and i want to be popular it's it's crazy and this is the main reason why people lose motivation after they start a channel. They make content, they get their sound settings down and their editing down and their color correction, the music, they got their intro and their outro, they're doing their descriptions. They got everything where they want it to be. It's a nice, complete, finished product, but they don't get the views. And they keep on uploading the material, but people are not coming to their channel. Why is that? Well, because their thumbnails aren't attractive enough, because they're not cursing enough, because they're not being provocative, are using enough innuendo. And after after a while they just get burnt out because they're investing all of this time into their hobby and nobody's coming to check them out. To sum it up, if you're not willing to check your morals at the door, don't start a YouTube channel right now wanting to be famous. So how do I explain this to you guys? You have to ask yourself if you can live a life of tearing people down for the entertainment of others and live with yourself. 
Ask yourself, are you willing to say things about people that you would never dream of saying to their face if you were sitting across from them? And if you aren't willing to do that, but you still want to do YouTube, you have got to remind yourself each and every day why you do this. And I'm serious about this because if you don't remind yourself why you started in the first place, then you will burn out. And it won't take very long, three to six months, you will burn out. You may ask me, well, Gray, why do you do YouTube? Well, number one, I'm a gamer. I have loved Call of Duty since Black Ops 1. I've loved every single title except for Advanced Warfare. It's the only one that I didn't like. I didn't spew hate about it. I just didn't play it. I played other games. I just focused on what I enjoy. So number one, enjoy the game that you play and don't be afraid to enjoy it and be positive about it. The second reason for me is because I like helping people. I like talking with people and I'm a pretty kind person in general. And when I started my YouTube channel, I did actually have a goal of not only helping people get better at the game, but maybe giving them some advice for their lives. Number three, I stand up for my faith, my salvation, which is in Christ. And that turns a lot of people off. It is shocking to me when I see the response of hate that I receive on my channel when I mention the word Christ compared to the lack of hate that these other people get for absolutely annihilating the character of a stranger on YouTube. You have these guys who start a YouTube channel, create content because they want to entertain people, and then you have all these other channels who have no original thought of their own on how to create content, so they feed off like parasites and attack anybody who uploads original content. It's really sad, and, and their channels blossom, and I get hate. I'll do seven videos a week, six videos talking about the game, having a good time, and then I post one video about my faith, and I will lose every single sub that I gained from the six other videos. It is amazing, it truly is. And the last one is this. I do YouTube because it's a catalog of my thoughts, somewhat of an open journal, not just for you guys, but also for my kids. And every time I make a video, I think of the fact that my kids will watch this video either today, this week, or sometime in their life, especially if something happens to me and I die. They can always come back to my channel and they can look at everything that I uploaded and see the character of their father portrayed on a YouTube channel. Now you may not view it like that and that may be too serious for you, but you gotta understand as a man, everything that you do is cataloged now on this YouTube channel and one day you will have kids and they will come back and they will listen to everything that you say. They will listen to you degrade women and your daughter will hear this and she will find a man based on the words that you're using in degrading women. Can you live with yourself for that? How would you like for another man to speak about your daughter the way that you speak about women on your YouTube channel? Y'all think about that. How would you like your son to make fun of a retarded kid the way that you make fun of these other YouTubers? Would you like that? Would that be considered bullying? And how are you not a bully by doing it to another YouTube channel? I say all of this to you because I want you to be very realistic when you start off on a YouTube channel this day and age with the millennial generation watching you is you have got to decide up front why you are going to do this and you've got to stick to your guns through the entire process understanding that there's going to be a lot of hate. You've got to decide whether or not you're going to play the game. Are you going to be cruel and hateful and talk about sex and curse every other word using innuendo with provocative emails and lie to people to get them to come watch you? Or are you going to have character? Are you going to speak to who you are? Are you going to be positive and try to uplift people, knowing that you'll get more hate for doing that than you will for the latter? It's up to you. I know this was deeper than most of you guys probably expected, and a lot of you are probably going to hate it, but it's the truth. And I'm sure Thunder can attest to all of this as well. You guys, again, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button because it only benefits Thunder and the community. Leave a comment down below. I'll try to reply to anybody who wants to talk and not hate. And as always, if you do like the content similar to what I do on my channel, you come on over, you check me out. Hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you later. Bye.